Hey, how's it going, everyone? This is the Anime Man, and welcome to Missile. So, last episode, I mean, sorry, not last episode, last RPG making game that I did was Mad Father. You guys can, uh, the first episode today is in the description if you guys want to watch it. And so, after I did Mad Father, obviously I was like, what's the next RPG making game that you guys want to play? And I had a few options, and uh, a few of you guys uh, said I should play this game, Missile. Here are the comments to prove it. Oh, sorry. Here are the comments to prove it. Yeah. <laughs> In other words, this got asked a button to be played because apparently this is like chapter two of Mad Father. It's made by the same people who did Mad Father anyway. And uh, there are like certain elements of Mad Father within this game. So uh, let's go through it. Never heard of this game before, but if it's anything like Mad Father, then I guess it's going to be pretty good. Select your protagonist. It will not change the story. I'll be a girl, because I'm fabulous! Enter this girl's name with the keyboard. Okay. Um. I'm gonna do. Hmm. What should I be? I'll be Moe cool. Because <laughs> I'm so Moe. This game contains grotesque image and black humor as well as the depictions of violence, murder, bullying, and sexual assault. Please be cautious of these elements. This is a work of fear. Fuck. <laughs> I should have said then like a warning. This is going to be... Help. Find me. Uh, Misal? Is that you, Misal? Misal! Was I dreaming? I'm so fucking get away! I thought I heard Missile. I guess it was just a dream. It's been three months. Oh jeez. Oh no! It's so late I'm gonna be late for school! Get your shit together, Moiko. Missile never stood out too much in our class. She was just a simple girl, really. I wasn't too close to her, but I was always wondering about Missile always by herself. Is this a monologue? I guess it's a monologue. I hoped I could be her friend. But that didn't happen. Three months ago, Misao went missing. She hasn't. She wasn't coming to school, and she hadn't come home either. She never seemed the type to flee home. Our parents were saying that she might have gotten involved in something. Well, I'm off. Her class spread the rumor that Misao was long dead by now. Wow, what a dick class! I really hope they're wrong. I wanted to be her friend. What if I don't want to find you, huh? Never think about that, huh? Never think of our feelings. So here, and then you have. Oh, Jesus Christ, that teacher. <laughs> Creeps McGee. The attractive teacher of Michael's class. Popular with students for his generosity. Really? Hmm. Doesn't look attractive or generous in any way, in my opinion. Mr. Sword is so cool as ever, Ayaka, you stupid bitch. Of course, I'm the protagonist, I have to sit near a window. Typical s situation in anime. That voice I heard in my dream, was that Misao? You've got guts to ignore my lecture. Eek! This information will be essential for the test, so you better listen. Y yes sir, I'm sorry. Giggle. Quit laughing at me, motherfuckers. Mr. Soda has a new suit. Like, wow, super suave. Who the f <laughs> okay, I just like to ask, who the fuck uses the word suave nowadays? Or ever, in any nature? Whatever. I go. Michael's best friend. A fad fellow following girl who looks up to Mr. Sorter. I have a bimbo friend? God damn it. Ayako, you've been talking him up all morning. Don't you ever get tired about blabbling? But he's such a ladies man. He's so nice and smart and the best. Oh yeah, gotta use some hand cream. Do do do. Did you hear? I did. There's a rumor Mr. Sorter has a hand fetish. As in he likes hand jobs? 
I don't know. So maybe if I clean my hands constantly every day all the time, he'll like me more. I don't really care, Ayaka. Just shut the fuck up. Is what it's supposed to say. <laughs> don't really care, she says. Ha! You've got no eyes for men, Michael. Seriously, what do you see in a, s a seducer like Torma? Uh, I never said I liked anybody. I just think he's kind of cool, that's all. Really? <laughs> yes, really. There's been some spooky paranormal business going on at this school. I'm getting a little freaked. Yoshino. Oh, that's Toma. Paranormal, my ass. Moiko's classmate. A boy carefree in appearance, personality, and everything. Yep. Brains as well, looks like it. It's for real. It's for real. The other day, a kid in the other class got dragged away in the bathroom. Yoshino. Moiko's classmate. Leader of the bullies. Yeah, it looks like it. Kudo. It was always... Uh, it, this, this is the kind of character that always sounds tight. There was also the glass in the third floor hall I've been breaking from inside. Moiko's classmate. A calm, early, maturing youth. Gotta be ghosts. Eek, I'm scared. Saotome. Moiko's classmate, just Otome for short. Toma's girlfriend. Ghosts, huh? Tamas. Those ain't exist. Those ain't exist? Jesus Christ, that English. Wait, what if? <laughs> what if? <laughs> like, what if? This is Misao's curse. Look, this is no time for jokes. Whoa. <laughs> But I mean, it's totally possible. It's been three months since she vanished, then this stuff just suddenly starts? <laughs> Why do I sound homosexual when I do a girl's voice? If those events if those events are Misao's curse, then Yoshino will be cursed sooner or later. <laughs> Whatever did, she, did I do? Yoshino, you did bully Misao a lot. Bullying? Why, I never. I was just making a little fun. And Tom has always screwed with Misao. You're the one who'll get cursed. Me? Ha, <laughs> I'm fine. Misao looked up to me. I wonder. Toma, I'm scared. I mean, I'm your girlfriend. Misao might have a grudge. Don't sweat it, Otome. I'll protect you. Oh, you're so nice, Toma. Pa! What do you like? What do you do? What you like, lovebirds? Misao, please don't curse us. The rest are fair game, though. Oops, did I say that out loud? <laughs> Misao's like, surprise, motherfucker. <laughs> an earthquake? Well, it got dark really, right quick. What the heck's going on? Maybe just, maybe, it really is Misao's curse? Misao's real mad at us. Sh shut up! What the hell? I was just kidding about the curse crap. Ah, uh, Moiko. Help. Misao? Misao! I can hear her speaking to me. Oh, now it's gonna be her. Sh shut it! I didn't hear her damn voice. Moiko, you're talking crazy talk. I'm not. I'm Find me. Misa. Oh. Whoa. Jesus Christ. God damn. Misa. Ah, you finally come too. No way. Where am I? I was just in the classroom. And who are you? <gasps> it's Shrek! <laughs> LOL! That's awesome! Oh my god, my favorite character! Shrek returns! Oh my god! I am Onigata, aka Shrek, the student council president. And this is the student council room. Luckily for you, you've ended up somewhere safe. Ended up? After the earthquake, the school was sucked into another world. This sent those inside flying all across the school. Another world? What's that supposed to mean? And why would that happen? Well, it's a curse. It is the result of a girl's curse that this school was sealed in the other world. A curse? It couldn't be... Misao? Present on your order! <laughs> finally made it! I thought that was a gun. <laughs> so you finally returned this library. Miss Library? That's a fucking name. She's the school's vice principal, always in the library, so that's what we call her. Okay, that's fair enough. So then, Miss Library, how does it look? I thought Shrek was just tripping balls when she was calling him Miss Library. It's messed up, and gunked up, and funked up. I thought I almost read that as fucked up. The foundation and everything is wrecked, and I haven't been able to find any ex exits. 
Plus, evil spirits are going and attacking people. I saw a student killed before my eyes. Is that why you look dizzy? I'm joking. I'll never be able to eat hamburgers again. Oh, it was frightening. What do you have, like people hamburgers or something? The fuck? So I see. Thank you for your report. You may retire for now. Yes, well, I'm going back to the library. Call me anytime you need me. Evil spirits. The curse must have summoned them. The school is now a den of spirits, and there's nowhere to run. Uh, um... There's only one solution. Undoing the girl's curse. There's surely no other way. How am I supposed to undo a curse? By saving the girl's soul. Miss Moiko, you must know what it is you have to do. I do? Find me. I have to find Misao. Misao's calling me. Says she wants to be found. Mr. Onyara, I'll go look for Misao. So you will. As library informs me, the school is full of evil spirits, and yet you wish to go. I will, because Misao's my friend. Understood. You are entrusted with the fate of the school. I believe you can do it. If you encounter any trouble, pay a visit to the library on the second floor. She will try her best to help. If you wish to make a record, please talk to me. I will do so for you any time. Will you say yes? Wow, okay. Shrek actually helps in this game for once. You can also press C or Shift to make a quick save. Delete them when the game is closed. Okay, you can ask library for more details. I pray for your safety. Try not to get Shreked. Um, okay, so that's a quick save. Alright, let's go then. Uh, oh my god. Blood marks. Guess this book. The Principal's Diary. X month, X day, cloudy. The emergency exit key fell out of the vase. Somebody pick it up. A vase, it's fixed to the table. Inspect it? Yeah. Ow! What? Got pricked by a rose thorn. Ugh. The rose was poison. It courses through Moka's body. What? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Holy shit! Wow, that was a quick death. Holy crap. Um, okay. Let's try and destroy it this time, I guess. You can't break it with your bare hands. God damn, that was a quick death. Nothing out of the ordinary. Nothing out of the ordinary. Found a parody storybook from overseas, The Lazy-Eyed Ranger. Read the book, sure. The Lazy-Eyed Ranger said, Thanks for the tasty sweets, Jack. I'll give you the power of curses. What a great story. Man, I could go for some sweets. This ranger's guy is making me hungry. Good luck charms monthly March issue. Huge features on happiness granting charms. Okay. So, I guess I should look for something. A flower pot, nothing. Okay. I should look for something to break that pot. Alright. Cool. Um, can I go that way? Let's go downstairs. Ooh. Wow. What's to explore? Well, is that... Ayaka! Oh yeah, it is. Thank goodness you're safe. Moiko, you're just in time. Now's the chance of a lifetime. What? Since nobody's around, we're free to look in Mr. Sorter's desk. Oh my god, you are a stupid bitch. Why did I become friends with you? Oh, come on. There's no time for that. Look, look at what's happening to the school. Look, top drawer, packed with love letters to Mr. Sorter. Who dares? Who is it who dares to send all their love letters to my Mr. Sorter? Let's find out what they wrote. Ayaka, that really doesn't matter right now, so let's get somewhere safe. No way, I can see everything, and I haven't even looked in the bottom drawer. You can pass up you can't you can pass up an opportunity, but I won't. Fine, do what I care. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god, that was the quickest death in the world. I love how these deaths just like suddenly come. Um let's check some of the Discs. Or maybe the drawer? Nothing out of the ordinary, nothing out of the ordinary. Okay, fuck you then, Ayaka. I'm going. Ooh, any machine. Buy some juice? Yes. Ah, oh, damn. Adorn these places. What? I think that's a puzzle of some sort. It looks like a classroom. Okay, I have no idea. It's a piece of paper here. Piece of paper, pick it up. Yeah, sure. You're dead. Oh. That scared the fucking shit out of me. Holy crap, that scared the balls out of me.
Hey, I'm outside. A beast? Whoa, we can go down here. Boulders? Here. Boulder in the way, I might break it with a heavy blow. I can't destroy a bandit. Fair enough. Um, ooh, there's a temple here. Let's go in. Sacrifice the body or the curse will never end. Okay, I guess this is important for, like, the ending. I don't know. I'm still fucking surprised at how, like, sudden these deaths come. Fuck you, piece of paper. Do you guys see that? <laughs> Jesus Christ, the deaths come so suddenly in this game. It is amazing. Huge difference from Mad Father. I'm actually enjoying this a lot. Just because it's so different. Okay, don't go in there. Jeez, there's so many places I have to fucking avoid. Gross! 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 Oh, hey, Toma. What the? No! S stay away! Oh, oh Tome! Toma, help! Ah. Ah. Oh, you little pussy. Toma! Ah. I have to save her. I need something to drive her away. Uh. What? what? That wouldn't do any good. I need to find something strong to use. Holy shit, there's a dead body up there. Um, oh, fire engine. Perfect, now I can get that evil spirit. Come here, bitch. Oh, never mind, she's dead. Salto me! How dare you do this to Salto? Take this monster! I'm sorry I couldn't save you. Shit, she's dead. And. dead. Fuck, man. God damn. This is on a different level. Holy crap. Ah, uh, nope. <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna go back up to Shrek and save. Oh my god. Okay, let's be a man. Or, or a woman. Nothing? Okay. This way. Oh no, something's coming. What? Is that Mad Father? It's for the fucking dad from Mad Father. What the hell? That guy's carrying around a chainsaw. I'd be pretty much helpless if that guy came after me. Oh, Yoshino. Where are you, Yoshino? Where are you? Oh, shit. Hey, what's up? <laughs> Boyko! Help me! Hmm. You're a bitch, to know. Why, you don't screw with me! When I get out of here, I'll... Broken refrigerator. Hold on, bitch. Let me just check shit out. The corpse of a large man is torn open stomach. He's more than twice Michael's size. Shit. Whoa. Capsule big enough for one. Hmm. I may need that later? Wait. Let's see what happens if I try to help her. I'd like to help you, but you're always bullying people. Huh? What? What about it? If you promise not to bully the weak anymore, then I'll be willing to help you. Uh, Alright, gee, sure. I won't do it. Now help- I, I won't do it. Now help me out here. He's gonna come back if you don't hurry. Who? <laughs> That guy. Oh shit. No, I don't want to be a test subject. If I'm found a dump, I've got to hide somewhere. Where can I hide? In here? Yes. I'm sorry, Michael. But you're fucked. God damn, man. This game is intense. Same screen was using my phone. Oh my god! <laughs> Holy shit! Um. Okay. I guess that wasn't the right thing to do. Um. Let's go this way. 
Nothing out of the ordinary. What's that? A diagram for human dissection. Creepy and stares right at you. That doesn't sound good. What the fuck is that? Why is it moving? Take a nap. That's cool. I didn't know I could take a nap. Uh -huh. Maybe that wasn't a good idea. What the fuck did I do? Exactly. I don't know. Let's go to the second floor though. Uh, what's this? Oh, the library! You can now use the warp function. Oh, cool! You, 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 you are in the student council room. Um, uh, hi, I'm Michael. Uh, Miss Lyra? Well, you remembered my name. I'm so glad. <sighs> How many years has it been since I've talked to anyone? Huh? Michael, please be my friend. But already? Oh, you don't want to? Yeah, be a friend, of course. That's rude. But really? I'm so glad you're my first friend. Miss Library's kind of awkward, though. I want to know your real name. Well then, Miss Michael. Well then, Miss Michael, please. Give me an easier name. Yes, I want a marvelous name. What? Oh gosh, what's it gonna be? Well, um... Ooh. Um... You are... Hmm... Something to do with books. I guess. I'm gonna call you Light. Get it? Light novel? That was terrible. It's a wonderful name. From now on, call me Light. <sighs> Friend. Sounds good. But well, I'll have to get get going. Please to do and all. Michael, if you ever run into trouble, please come visit me. I don't know how useful I can be, but I'll do what I can to help. Okay, thanks. Okay, what can you talk? What can I do for you? Get okay, hints or talk or nothing. Yeah, let's get some hints. You have to offer up six items at a certain location to undo the curse. It's probably the uh, temple place that we saw. Those items are hidden all around the school. Do your best to find them. I saw a boy bolting up from the third floor to the first floor to the third floor. Was he running from an evil spirit? One famous urban legend at our school says that if you knock on the furthest door in the girl's bathroom, Hanako will answer. Hmm. It's all sorts. Stuffed toy rabbit. Portrait of a beautiful woman. Beautiful lilies. Take out the bait. Take them Yeah, take it. Got lilies. Alright. I guess we kind of needed them. I don't know. But, what I'm going to do instead is to go back down to Shrek. And end this first episode right here, guys. <sighs> wow. I must say, this game is intense. I've already died, like, four times in unexpected places. <laughs> I was not expecting any of those deaths. So this game is great. So yeah, guys. Um, That's it for the first episode of Missile. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I look forward to seeing all of your lovely faces in the next video of whatever I make. Until then, keep watching anime. Ciao!